Domestic abuse affecting older people is often under-recognized and under-reported. Abuse might happen over many years or begin in later life. Sometimes it builds up subtly over time, making it difficult to identify. The Duluth Power and Control Wheel, adapted for older people by Dowie's Choice, shows how abuse isn't always physical and can include your partner, ex-partner, or family member trying to control you. Here are some examples of controlling an abusive behavior. Criticizing you and making you feel bad about yourself, stupid, or that you always get things wrong. Saying you can't make decisions, that you have dementia, or are losing your mind. Threatening that bad things will happen if you don't behave how they want. Sometimes these are small threats. But they might include threats to harm themselves, you, or the people or even animals that you care about. Taking control of your money and denying you access to financial information. They may take money without your permission and not return it. Exaggerating your care needs or using them as an excuse to control your medication, what you eat and where you go. Without respecting your boundaries, they might make you feel like you have to follow their rules and that you can't say no. Abuse can also include making excuses for treating you badly and blaming you for their behavior, telling people you are difficult and presenting themselves as caring and supportive. Or alternatively, ignoring your needs, making out they are incapable of doing things themselves and that you have to support them. You might feel you don't have control over your life decisions, be stopped from going places and doing things you enjoy, like trying new things and learning new skills. Or even learning to use technology that could make your life easier. You may be stopped from spending time alone with other people or have the time you spend with family and friends spoiled. You may feel you have no space or time for yourself. They might constantly check where you are and what you are doing, listen to your phone calls and read your messages or letters before you. Abuse can also include using their physical size to scare those around them, being aggressive towards you and the people you care about, and committing physical violence against you or your property. Maybe the behavior just started or recently got worse. Even if it's always been like this, it doesn't mean it's okay. The good news is that you don't have to manage this on your own. There are people you can speak to confidentially who can offer you support and explain your options regardless of whether you want to end the relationship or not. Talking to someone about the behavior won't mean having to make decisions you're not ready for. But it will open the door to the help you need to start feeling safer and happier today. today.